but you guys are starting to recognize more and more each game, getting better each game. Um, said he can see the wheels turning. Are you feeling that too? That That's true. You guys are on the brink. Yeah. We're not far away. Doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but we're not far away. What was the physicality like down the stretch that Miami brought to the game, and how do you feel like you guys countered that? I mean, it was uh, it was okay. It's, it's a very experienced team. Went to the finals, where uh, we got many things to to correct. Zach had ten points in the paint. Was that an example of how when you draw the, the defender away, how you you all are able to find him down low? Some mismatches. Yeah, only a few teams are gonna have a pair of guys uh, physical enough, you know, to guard both him and I and. Uh, it shows a little. It showed a little bit, but we got to do better. I think it was a couple weeks ago. You said you, you know, winning is the thing you love most out of everything. On the flip side of the deck, how do you, how do you handle? How do you process uh, losing? I mean, it's uh, it's it just motivates me more. You know, we're not no, nobody in the locker room is putting their head down and giving up. So we're we're here. You know, we're ready. Victor, are you making an effort to be like a concerted effort to be more aggressive, or are you still kind of letting the game kind of come? Just seemed like you were a little bit more aggressive tonight. Um, every game is different, but uh, it's always one of my, you know, one of my uh, priorities to be to be aggressive and uh, to. Uh, I think I need, you know, yeah. It's always something I need to think about. You guys go from here to Oklahoma City, um, who you face in the preseason already, specifically. Playing against Chet Holmgren, what did you take from that that first meeting in the preseason? Um, it's uh, someone we, we got to keep in mind in offense because he's a shot blocking threat and uh, and also a, a lob threat, you know. And so it's it's uh, somebody we got to keep in mind. And the, the pair of him and uh, Shea, it's gonna be hard to handle, but we we're gonna do, you know. We, you gotta make it work. When, when you faced him in FIBA a long time ago, what jumped out at you in that game? <clears throat> Maybe the I see the yeah, he was a very decisive player. When you see a team a second time, what would change it? I think we saw that the Houston game in the regular season compared to the preseason, the two Phoenix games. This is gonna be your second time seeing OKC. Okay, what is? Well, I, I guess kind of. When you when you see a second a team for a second time, what, what changes for you? Mm, the games are very different, especially from the preseason. But it's you know it's still something we I haven't faced teams twice very often so far. I think just the Rocket, the Rockets, and they had and and the, the Heat, but neither of these they had the same very much the same roster. So I can't really know yet. Victor, as you as this team gets used to one another, and at the same time, defenses and opposing teams are kind of throwing different stuff at you. What's the process been like getting the shots that you like, getting to your spots, all of that type of stuff, and the flow of the offense? It's uh, pretty much you know starting from from scratch a little bit because it's it's a whole new game here that I that I've learned and uh, that I'm learning. So it's uh, yeah, you know, I'm still learning what my spots are. Is it easy for you after a game to put put the game away, or do you replay? Do you find yourself replaying? Depends on the game. Yeah. Thanks for taking double French. La, la nouveauté aussi pour tout rookie, c'est euh, s'adapter au rythme fou que la NBA tous les deux jours vous jouez euh, des voyages partout sans arrêt aussi. Euh, de ce côté-là, toi, sur ton adaptation, euh, que ce soit au niveau de la récupération, du sommeil, de la préparation physique. Comment tu te sens après neuf matchs Est-ce que tu as est-ce que t'es déjà réglé comme une horloge en gros Est-ce que tu as encore besoin de temps Tu as l'impression um, je, je me sens bien, je me suis bien adapté, mais je pense que le plus, ce que la différence pense, entre les jeunes et les, les vétérans, c'est pouvoir passer plus, euh, plus vite à réfléchir directement au match d'après, ça enchaîne et, et pas rester sur, euh, pas rester sur euh, le passé. Voilà, c'est ça. Mais je mets, on est dans de tellement bonnes conditions que c'est, c'est pas très compliqué. Euh, au début du training camp, tu disais que tu étais assailli par plein de nouveaux systèmes, de, de nouvelles choses, etc. Après 10 matchs, comment ça s'évolue Et qu'est-ce que tu vois plus facilement sur le terrain Qu'est-ce qui a progressé pour toi concrètement 
ça a changé, ça a changé. Euh, moi, je m'y me, je me, je retrouve un peu plus. Et, mais je sais encore qu'en tant que jeune équipe, on est, il y a toujours des moments où on est un peu, un peu perdu de temps en temps. Mais, euh, mais de mon côté, je m'y retrouve. Et euh, Pop disait que... Ah, right ouais, Victor, je sors un petit peu du match. Je voulais vous savoir qu'est-ce qui a changé principalement pour toi entre ta vie au mètre 92 et ta vie ici en NBA. Notamment d'un point de vue médiatique, on te voit quasiment... On te voit après tous les matchs, parfois à l'entraînement, alors qu'à Marcel Sardin, on te voyait... Euh, assez rarement en conférence de presse. Comment est-ce que tu gères un petit peu ces, toutes ces questions au niveau des médias Est-ce que ça, ça te saoule parfois ou tu prends ça avec... Euh... Non, c'est sûr que peut-être au bout du 50e match, ce sera un peu relou. Mais, mais c'est quelque chose qu'il faut... Non, je n'ai pas envie de dire faire avec, mais c'est quelque chose qu'il faut, faut s'en servir pour, la, pour faire du bien, parce qu'après, ça permet de... C'est pas seulement un handicap parce que ça permet aussi de faire passer des messages. Donc c'est et puis aussi de communiquer, à répondre à des questions qui intéressent les gens. C'est quand même utile. Thanks, Merci. 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 Merci.